Aloha, top of the morning friends and family. Once a week we put up beautifully edited cinematic masterpieces on this channel. This video is uncut. Okay, this is not gonna be a 100% uncut video because I meant to mention that I do have something here that I'm gonna read at the end of this video. And I'm gonna put this clip at the beginning just so you know that, this, that what I'm gonna read here is coming from the moment you started the video. There, it's not completely uncut anymore, but there you go. <laughs> Today's Uncut, I really don't want to make. I don't want to make this video. I haven't wanted to make this video, but I felt like I needed to make this video. It's one of those. So this is going to, most people probably know what's coming here. A lot of people know what's coming here, but for those of you that don't, um, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is a video, basically I'm, I'm gonna do multiple things in this video. I'm going to, I'm just gonna talk actually. There's a lot, sorry. I've been processing for a while. I'm still processing. Probably will be processing this for, for some time. I did an interview about three years ago with someone named Samson Pruitt, owner of Slither Inc. And the reason I did that interview was because I had heard about him and heard a lot about him while I was at that show that he was at, that I was at. And... There's, there was a lot of talk, you know, a lot, of, a lot of like people saying this and that, and then I was like, was very interested, like what's what's going on, like, and you know, a lot, a lot of people didn't want him there. There were people like kind of petitioning, like putting flyers on cars out the show, but but nobody was going up and talking to him to confront him about the things that they said were happening, and and I was like, you guys are a bunch of cowards, is what I was thinking and saying. I was like, why don't you just go talk to him? It was, it was driving me insane. And there were a bunch of other things that were happening that week and where people were doing a lot of talking and not a lot of doing. And I was like, this is ridiculous, I mean, which is, it feels weird that all I'm doing right now is talking. But I like to do things too. And so one of the things I did was like, I'm going to talk to him then. If, if you guys are all going to just like do all this side stuff but not actually confront the guy, like I'm going to talk to him and we'll even do it on video. So I invited him over to sit down with me and talk. And I asked him point blank the questions that the, – about the what I thought were rumors that people were talking about, you know, were you convicted of dog fighting this that and he, and he now now today sitting here I know that he was lying to me on that video, and there was a clip from that video where he said, you know, he's really it's, it's kind of like uh, what do they what do they call it a slip Freudian slip where he said uh, he's really good at convincing himself that he's a good person something along those lines, and it made makes sense now looking back at that video, but anyway. Uh, I just wanted to apologize to everybody because I, I did mention in that interview, you know, at the end that I had looked, which I did, you know, looking to find any kind of proof that it, of a full conviction and not just like news stories. And because I've been involved in things where news stories don't say exactly what really happened. So I, I give benefit of the doubt there, you know, but I was presented with just a couple of days ago, actual court documents proving that he was lying to me about that. And so I wanted to address that here and make that apology to folks that, we're like, how could you stand up for this guy? It wasn't really that I was standing up for him. It's that I always like to give people the benefit of the doubt. And I like to hear from the horse's mouth himself. And I don't like to give way to rumors and, and stuff like that. And now even more recently, um, it's come up again. There's been pictures circulating, which I was planning to maybe have playing here, but I decided we don't need those pictures here. I think that the, the more of those pictures circulate, not necessarily a good thing. So, And they're just so horrendous. I mean, they make what... I've had that video of the FWC officers playing here when I addressed that situation and um, what those the officers did made these pictures look like child's play, honestly. And, um, and I wouldn't have addressed them if he hadn't admitted that they were actually pictures from his facility in his own post. Um, so there was some that, you know, he's trying to explain away and there's some pictures. I'll, I'll actually show one picture here because you can't even hardly tell what it is, but this one right here, that was a snake. And there's no explaining that away. There's nothing, there's no amount of um, reasonable, that's just pure neglect. And, and the reason I'm having a hard time with this video is I've never, ever singled anybody out negatively on this channel. It's actually not something, I, I hate doing it. I hate doing this video. I hate this video. I hate this video. Um, and it's just cause, because it's ugly. And but I, I needed to address it, especially since I did that interview three years ago. And it seems like things have, are being done. You know, you know, Morph Market has banned him from. Basically, that that picture just represents 
gross neglect to the point that it's like evil. And that's why I'm talking about it. Cause I, I do believe that, you know, when Jesus said, you know, he who is without sin cast the first stone. That's not me. That's not me. I'm not here to cast stones. I'm just here to talk fact. Fact is those pictures were from Samson's facility. Fact is he lied to me on the interview three years ago. Those are the facts. And the fact is we don't want this as any kind of representation of how us that keep snakes, we don't, we don't want that to be something that like, this is what it looks like. This is what snake keepers look like. So we want that out. We don't want, that's not, we don't want that part of the hobby. We don't want that part of the industry. We want that out. I think Morph Market made the right call in removing him from there. And Ty Park is doing a great thing. Ty Park from Iguana Land has made a great move to step up and uh, form a group that is going to figure out what can be done to get those animals from him so that they're no longer in his care. Not, not sure how easy that's going to be, but Ty's a very smart individual, and I'm sure he'll come up with something smart because he is highly intelligent. And uh, thank you, Ty, for stepping up and, and doing that and whether or not the animals can be gotten, um, hopefully legally somehow. That A couple things I would like to talk about that, are, that really bug me about this situation more than the situation itself or the, all of the things that spring out of the situation, which are, A, people like using this situation to promote themselves or to demote others who are not even necessarily there to be demoted. It's just, it's horrible and ugly, as ugly, I think, as the actions that led to pictures like that um, in the first place. I forgot to mention, I have something here. Okay, this is not going to be a 100% uncut video because I meant to mention that I do have something here that I'm going to read at the end of this video. And I'm going to put this clip at the beginning just so you know that this that what I'm going to read here is coming from the moment you started the video. There. It's not completely uncut anymore, but there you go. Um, <clears throat> but other than that, that's the only cut and my, my intro, which is a big joke. Um, so the fact that people are using this situation to demote others or promote themselves, I think is equally disgusting. Something about us humans loving to roll around in our own muck. Um, that's a, that's a thing. And it's, uh, it, it hurts me, you know, to see the, the industry tearing itself apart from within. I think it is good that we, that, you know, we get some, somebody is with complete neglect like that, that that's, that should be, I agree hundred percent, get that out of here, get that out. There's no place here. We don't want to associate with that whatsoever. Good. Um, it's just unfortunate. I wish as much energy would be put into other things. And then also like those pictures, why wasn't something done the instant that those things were noticed? You know, like I've just, I've, my understanding, I don't know if this is a fact or not, but my understanding is that these pictures have been held onto for at least a year, if not more, before being, being brought forth publicly. Like, why wasn't this... Anyway, there's nothing that can be done about it now. That's, and that's the problem. Like, what can be done about it now? I don't know. You know, for, for, I know that he's moved to a new state, and, like, potentially this is all much to do about nothing at this point. If everything's gotten cleaned up and, like, nothing can be done at this point, like, why didn't that... Why didn't it get taken care of in that moment? Why didn't why wasn't it like animal control called that that instant to like come and like look at what's going on here before it could be cleaned up? Like why? Why didn't that happen? And why is it doing what it's doing now? Um, it's disgusting. What's happening with with people right now and where their hearts are at in this? I, I hate it. Can't stand it. It's. <laughs> It's disgusting. It's disgusting. The The pictures are disgusting. The whole thing's disgusting. I'm going to read a video. I'm going to read... I'm going to read this thing that I've got here. This is something... So... There's a little girl that's getting a snake from us soon. And she... Uh, her mom found this note. So this, this little girl, she's 12 years old. And she's being bullied at school because she likes snakes. <laughs> and her mom found this letter and gave me permission to read it on video. Um, they're going to remain in, remain anonymous, but this is this is what I want my channel and everything I do to be about. This is what I this is where I want to be. This is what I want to do. These are the things that I love is lifting up and supporting folks like this, um, and not being made to feel like I need to talk about every single negative thing that's out there. And 
I really don't want to do much of it ever again, honestly. Um, if I hadn't done that interview three years ago, I, I would honest, I wouldn't touch this one. But I felt like I, I had a responsibility to do so and to recall some of the statements I made in that video um, those years back, given the new evidence that I've received. Um, but I've read, this is what I'd like to do. I'd like to read this letter. She's named the snake that she's getting from me, Petal. And uh, that's, that's who this letter is addressed to. To my dearest Petal, you are saving my life here. You're giving me the boost to keep fighting, to keep living. You may not understand any of this, but I have been waiting for you my whole life. I've been depressed and suicidal for a while. I overthink a lot and I've lost so much. With you, I can be so much happier. I'll talk to you and no one will ever hurt you. I'll always love you. Some people think they are saving the animal, but really the animal is saving you. I will protect you with my life, no matter what. I love you, Petal. You're an angel and blessing from heaven. A dream come true. I hope to give... I hope to give you the best life. I will do anything to accomplish that. Plenty of food, lots of love. I'll never let you go. I'll read stories to you and sing to you. Take you places and give you unconditional love. Nothing I can do to make you understand what you're doing for my life. Thank you, truly. I love you, my dearest petal. And you're bringing me this to the surface. I was lost in, in a deep void, in icy deaths of suicide and depression. I thank you and love you. That's, that's just beautiful. And that is something I think most of us don't, <laughs> I don't want to speak for anybody, actually. That, that is such a great example of how we can care for these animals and how I think a lot of us do care for these animals, you know, but that was such a beautiful way to put it. And like, I'll tell you what, after what's been happening this past week and this letter, I've been paying a little extra attention to my snakes, you know, and just looking at each little scale a little more closely and uh, just giving that little extra like, you know, just giving that little extra. We can always do more and do better. I mean, I've, I've certainly, that's certainly true of me. I can do way better. I can do so much better than... So if you take anything at all away from this video, it's just, just I just, just encourage you to do better, you know? I just hope it encourages you to want to do better for your animals and for the people around you. Um and treat everybody with as much love and respect as you would want to be treated with yourself and uh, yeah, do it honestly and be honest. That's it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Aloha.